how tightly is the Blu-ray association, or particularly the studios, how tightly are they going to stay in formation, do you think? Uh, at what point do studios look over and say, if it, it happens that HD DVD gets a decent size installed base from all this cut, cost cutting, at what point do they look over and say, hey, there are a bunch of people over there with HD DVD players. It's time for us to release more titles on that format. Well, you've got only one studio that's supporting both, and we've seen a lot of suggestion here in the last week or two that they're going to look hard at the fourth quarter sales and perhaps make a decision in terms of which format to support. Uh, I think Sony, goes without saying, would be uh, very unlikely to support anything but Blu-ray uh, anytime soon. And Disney and Fox have certainly shown, shown a very strong commitment to Blu-ray. Uh, you know, remarks from their executives here in the last few days that have made it very clear that they feel Blu-ray is the best format for the consumer. Uh, you also have some copy production areas that some of the studios have embraced Blu-ray in part because there are some stronger measures in place to try to prevent piracy of the, the content uh, that some protections that HD DVD doesn't offer. So I really think that um, in the absence of an absolute turnabout in the current sales trends that there won't be any sort of significant change in terms of how the studios have lined up. So absolute turnabout, you would mean something dramatic would have to happen this holiday season in terms of uh, HD DVD players outselling Blu-ray in order for that to Not happen? Not only outselling, but you know, even with... Uh, you know, so currently we've had a very consistent two-to-one uh, lead with Blu-ray sales relative to HD DVD sales. The PlayStation 3 price drop will probably result in a uh, you know, significant boost in sales there, and, and that translates to more Blu-ray title sales. So even if consumers really did take to the, uh, the cover-rate HD DVD player pricing, there's still a pretty significant gap in terms of title sales. And even here two weeks ago when Transformers was released, uh, clearly the biggest title yet out on that format, Blu-ray still led with overall sales that week. And looking through the rest of the year, uh, there are several exclusive blockbusters coming on the Blu-ray side, including Pirates of the Caribbean 3 and Simpsons and uh, Superbad and a few others, um, which the other side just doesn't have much in the way of exclusive titles to, to match up against that. So uh, I, I think that the sales trends will continue as they have been. Uh, and in the rest of the world, the numbers have even been much, much greater than that. We just saw some recent numbers in Japan where Blu-ray is up to around 98% of the market share. Uh, so, so again, you know, we may be a little bit of a short-term bubble with some of these low, very low-cost players and the discounting going on, but I think that long-term the consumer is clearly embracing Blu-ray and the title sales are reflecting that. So... What uh, changes should we look for in 2008 in terms of improvements in technology on the Blu-ray side, and how much of that do you think will make its way into enhancements on the titles? How much of it will drive sales? The titles, um, I think just looking at the trajectory we saw through 2007, the vast majority of titles released have had lost this audio, video quality has been superb virtually across the board, uh, and we're seeing here towards the end of the year a lot of increased focus on the bonus content and the interactivity. So one of the differentiators between the two formats has been the Java-based BDJ layer on Blu-ray versus the HDI interactive layer on HD DVD. And uh, HDI, they've certainly done some innovative things on some of the titles that have been released, but one of the reasons why the BDA did settle on the Java-based platform was because it's viewed as definitely being a more flexible environment, and it takes a bit of time for the studios to really wrap their arms around how to take advantage of that power, but we're starting to see that cars coming out from Disney in, um, in another week or two has a very innovative feature called Car Finder, where throughout the entire movie, you identify each of the 217 distinct cars that uh, that are part of the movie. 
uh, and and you can jump out of the movie at any time and find out all sorts of background information about each of the cars. Uh, we'll see uh, definitely more innovative features coming on Pirates 3 and, and again, many of the other titles coming. And the studio, they're telling us that they're really very quickly learning how to take advantage of that interactivity and, and really push the envelope in terms of what new and creative features they can offer. So I think that will accelerate rapidly. Uh, we'll certainly see network connected players starting to become uh, the you know, commonplace in 2008, and that will open up another whole world of, of ways to add value to the content and, and you know, bring the consumer further into that. We'll see the release of some of Disney's platinum titles, uh, which again have been you know, a, a big milestone as they've come out on each format. Um, and I think continuing to see the players themselves improve. We know that the hardware is getting faster and the, the time it takes for a movie to start from when you put in the disc and the responsiveness of the menus and the other features are improving very rapidly. So I think that the overall consumer experience will just go from today where you get a, a, a terrific picture and audio and a good overall experience will go to one where you know even those few um, areas that that you know, that that uh, there could be some improvement those will very quickly be addressed as well are we going to see something like we did with uh, matrix on DVD where there's a particular title that really gets people jazzed and excited about snapping up the format or do you think it's going to be different this time around it's not clear what title other well there's two titles that everyone talks about Star Wars the, the Star Wars you know, series and Lord of the Rings that I think are both kind of viewed as the uh, the ultimate you know, way that high def could be could be presented. And to my knowledge, neither of those have been scheduled, or has there been uh, you know, a firm discussion about when they might be available? Um, so I think what we'll see is just a continued series of milestones where uh, you know, as the creative Community within the studios learns how to package up more bonus materials and, and other ways to enhance the movie itself. Um, I think you know we'll just see a series of movies just as we've seen so far where movies like 300 come out and kind of are really well designed for the format. Uh, I think until Star Wars and Lord of the Rings come out, it's just going to be kind of a stair-step series of new highs or new, you know, new experiences that past those that have come before. Okay. Uh, anything else you wanted to throw in there for folks who are watching this this ping pong match back and forth between HD, DVD, and Blu-ray? Well, I think it's really a question of looking at you know, who is backing each format and, and looking at what's at stake. So you've got uh, virtually the entire industry uh, minus Toshiba and minus Microsoft that have chosen to back the Blu-ray format uh, in large part because it really is much more uh, open-ended in terms of its capabilities, in terms of the storage capacity and, and the writability especially. That's a feature that has been available from day one on Blu-ray, whereas on HD DVD, the ability to burn discs has been almost missing in action. There are uh, very few available burners. We haven't seen any sort of camcorders on that format, whereas Hitachi has released an excellent Blu-ray camcorder. And so that may not short-term be as big of a concern for someone looking to put the best audio-video experience in their living room or their home theater, but certainly long-term, having the ability to write to the disc to store high-def video as part of a camcorder becomes an important part of the overall uh, ecosystem. So I think looking at the breadth of companies, supporting at the breadth of studios and the experience out uh, within the next few weeks and months will make it clear that, that really Blu-ray technology was designed to continue to grow for the next you know, the, the next decade and, and offer that leading edge performance that people are looking for. All right. Thanks a lot. My pleasure.